tools. No, not those kind of tools. These kind of tools. Okay, we are going to talk about the things you're going to need to crochet your basic tools. And they're really simple. You're going to need a crochet hook, a yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. That's your basic tools. Now, when you go into the store to buy your crochet hook, your yarn needle, and your scissors, they are going to have lots and lots of different stuff. You can see crochet hook as big as this. This one, just to give you an idea with the ruler, is an S hook. That's what they call a speed hook. This is where you crochet rope or several strands at once and that sort of thing. You can get all the way down, let me find one, here's an, a vintage one here, to a size 13 steel hook. And believe it or not, there's a hook on there. Yeah, we'll get right up here to the lens. And that's for lace making with thread, working with very fine fibers. It's hard for my camera to focus. There you go. So we're going to learn on something in between. All right, most um, worsted weight yarns recommend a size I hook. All right, well, when you go in and you're going to go look for a size I hook when you go to the store, and you're going to see different styles of hooks. This one is a clover soft grip hook. And you're also going to see letters as well as millimeters and sometimes a number as well. Okay, well, this hook with clover, these are wonderful because if you have arthritis or have trouble gripping, it's ergonomic. So um, they cost a little more, but it might be worth it for you to get a hook like this. This is the cheapest hook you can get. It's just a straight plastic hook. It's got, it's kind of flat this direction. I don't know if you can see that. And the hook is not very well defined. This is the worst hook you can get. It, it's hard to use, you get hand cramps, blah, blah, blah. This came with a kit. All right. Okay, these are your two most popular styles of hooks. Now, in addition to these, you can get bamboo hooks, you can get wood hooks, you can get hand heart carved hooks, you can get bone hooks, but your two basic aluminum crochet hooks are your boy and your Susan Bates. Okay, got to hold it in the light right so you can see the names. Okay. And the difference between a boy hook and a Susan Bates hook is the shape of the hook itself. These are actually the same size. Okay, the, the boy hook narrows at the shaft. The hook is kind of knobby, has almost to a point on this end and a point on the hook. Some people prefer this one. I prefer the Susan Bates hook. Susan Bates hook, it's uniformly wide all the way to the top. There's no points. The reason I like it is with these, these little points tend to split my yarn. Now, there's some people who crochet tighter that like these hooks because then you can use these to, to get into the spot you need to make your crochet stitch. But I actually prefer the Susan Bates style hook where it's almost like a tube with a slot cut out of it. The only problem with these is you got a shorter shaft to work with. These here, if you see what I mean, the shaft, between the thumb grip and the hook, 
it's longer here than it is here. So those are your differences between those two types of hooks. I'm going to talk about steel versus aluminum. Okay, when you get down to your smaller hooks, some of your patterns will tell you to use an aluminum hook. This one's a size D aluminum hook. Um, I'd have to look at a chart to figure out what that millimeter is. But with a steel hook, a size zero is the same size, see that, as a D hook. So if I'm working with something and these, these, this will bend, I have a size C hook that's actually bent because my vigor is crocheting. <laughs> and I should have gone to my steel hook of the same size. Now with steel hooks, okay, with aluminum hooks and regular crochet hooks, the bigger the number, the bigger the size of the hook. But with steel hooks, the bigger the number, the smaller the size of the hook. This is a size zero. There's one size bigger, called it's a double zero in steel. And the smallest one you can probably find most anywhere is a size 13. And this works, you can crochet a human hair with this hook. All right, but um, the bigger the number in a steel hook, the smaller the hook. Okay, now there's different kinds of hooks to get out there for different purpose purposes. Okay, I don't, I can't get this all in shot from sitting behind the camera, but this looks like a knitting needle. Yep, it's a crochet hook. This is an Afghan hook or a Tunisian hook. There's also some that have a hook on each end. There's um, 